I tried to do it. I tried. I I swear I tried. I swear I actually tried to read through The Witcher Blood of Elves, but I, I just could not do it. This really is, I'm being completely serious here, probably the worst fantasy book I've read in over a decade. I'm I'm going back to shit like Twilight and Aragon and just thinking to myself like is The Witcher worse than this? And honestly like I think it might be. I legit l might think this might be worse than Twilight because when it comes to Twilight, yeah, you can argue like, yeah, it's not very good and stuff like that. But Twilight is like so bad. Twilight is so awful, like, and its fan base so obnoxious that it becomes hilarious. Like to this day, I'll still watch videos of like Spoonie talking about the movies or or um, feel nostalgia for like the era of the internet when I was uh, when I was a youngin and sort of just uh, posting about how much I hated these books on message boards. But uh. This, this is something else entirely. This is, uh, man, gamers have the lowest quality, have the lowest standards when it comes to books. Like, I, I never read, like, any of these other book adaptions. Like, of course, I never read the Halo books or anything like that. Like, again, I wasn't into Halo. I wasn't into a lot of the franchises that were getting uh, book adaptions. And uh, The Witcher was adapted from this book. So I was from this uh, book series. Again, it says number one right here. Uh, I So in order to be familiar my familiarize myself with like the world of the Witcher, I decided to pick this up and decided to read it and immediately immediately wanted to set it back down. Like when did I start trying to read this? Like I want to say it was like when did I buy this? Like earlier this year? Was it last year? I think it might have been last year. It might have been a while, right? Uh, it was around the. It was before Witcher Three came out. So on Switch, so that, that was uh, yeah, 2019, uh, mid 2019, right? So yeah, I got Witcher Three on Switch. Uh, played that. Got bored of it. It was shit. Anyone slapping it on like uh, top ten games, uh, top ten games of the generation lists need to play more Nintendo. And uh, of course, like being a novelist, you know, you know, a booktuber, someone who actually covers uh, book content on my channel, like I was in a unique position uh, in in the gaming community to actively talk about the Witcher books, which is something I don't think anyone, even the most hardcore Witcher fans, have done. And having actually done it, I can absolutely see why the books are complete garbage like I, I suppose um one of the interesting things about it uh <laughs> well really when you get right down to it uh when you get put it in the simplest possible terms right uh there's nothing good about the books like it's basically just generic fantasy about a guy who's protecting a girl who's who's a princess and they have these very uh, here's the thing Here's the thing about The Witcher, uh, this specific book, uh, but I'm not sure if the others are like this, but I, but I noticed this about halfway through. The book has no real plot. Like, it establishes uh, Geralt, it establishes Ciri, it establishes, like, this setting, this idea, but it skips around so much in between so many different characters and so many different, like, um, so many different things. Like, it really doesn't feel coherent. It doesn't feel like it has a real plot at all. It doesn't feel like it has a climax. It doesn't feel like it's building up to anything. Like, all it, all it's doing is talking about Siri, her background, uh, the the squirrels, the, uh, the elvish sort of resistance group that's trying to drive humanity off the continent or some shit. Uh, paper, like, like I said in my last video talking about this, uh, just the, just very generic, morally gray fantasy. Like, ooh, humans are bad for taking the elves' land away from them, so they're lashing out, but they're also doing terrible things. It, it's very, very generic and very, very boring. And um, it's it, it just doesn't... There's nothing about it that's interesting. Like, uh, with, with Aragon, right? Like, Twilight, like... You can say those things are bad, like they are bad, but at the very least, they sort of have uh, general ideas. They sort of have things that are like, could be appealing. Like the idea of like, I don't know, like Aragon having these uh, dragons. You, you can argue it ripped off Dragon Riders of Pern. I, I think that's the argument that uh, 
I haven't read any criticism. I haven't read Aragon in years, and I haven't read criticisms of it in even longer, so I'm kind of misremembering here, but uh, maybe this was the first time I was exposed to these ideas, but, like, you know, Aragon having, like, you know, being able, you know, ha the, the process of hatching dragons, like, dragons choose their riders, man, uh, having a language tied to, like, casting magic, th things like that. Like, there were things uh, I remember liking about Aragon. Like, I didn't like the series, but I didn't drop off until book two. That was when, that was when I realized it was garbage. But uh, book one, I, like, stuck with until the end. I was like, yeah, maybe it'll get better. Um, I don't feel that way with The Witcher. I, I don't. <laughs> like, I, I don't feel that way. I am, I am absolutely certain at this point, like, it's just going to get even more ridiculous and boring. I just... The more fleshed out it is, like, the more you understand these characters, the more you're just going to start to, to fucking hate them. Like, uh, Yennefer, like, right from the get-go, I, I really disliked. Like, really, we're really supposed to believe that, like, Geralt and she have this, like, timeless, uh, immortal, uh, or not immortal, like, long-lived romance, like, oh, but, oh, oh, they're perfect for each other, but they're fighting all the time. And, like, Triss, who's more homely and nice, just can't compete with Yennefer. Like, I hate that shit. I, I hate it. Like, Geralt isn't a Chad, by the way. Like, I, I really need to say this. Like, Geralt is just not at all an interesting character. Like, it's sort of like when you don't write James Bond very well, how, like, it, it comes off like it's written by a complete cuck, like someone who's never actually done this shit. Like, oh, he banged 17-year-old me medical students. Like, uh, honestly, I'm not even sure how that process even happened, how they even met. It was, it was like, one of those situations. It was just... It just happened just for the sake of, like, emphasizing, like, ooh, Geralt, he sleeps around a lot. Ooh, women want to be with him. Ooh, it's, uh, like, it's like the morally gray thing. It's, like, uh, portraying this character as being extremely attractive and sexually appealing without actually uh, being able to to showcase that in the story itself. Like, you just... It, it's like... It's like a bad fanfic. You know what I mean? Like, how a certain... You know, how people will um, hype themselves up, hype certain characters up, and give them all these crazy powers, but the, the characters themselves are just boring. You know what I mean? That's what I think of Geralt. It, it's really interesting, uh, especially which uh, probably my favorite scene in the book. Uh, something I actually agree with. Uh, Geralt is on a boat. Um... Uh, going after a sort of monster and he's having this discussion with this scholar who uh, studies these monsters and uh, it's, it's a really something I this is actually something I've observed in my personal life where uh, someone with more practical hands-on knowledge is far more knowledgeable about these uh, about these creatures their behavior their current condition than someone who simply studies them out of books like this is something I agree with this is something I've observed but the way it's portrayed here, it really does make the uh, it, it's to overhype Geralt. That, that's all Geralt. That that's all, it, all. It's all it is. Like this scholar is like a complete dick to him for no reason. Like it's it, it's exaggerated. It's ridiculous. Like it, 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 I I just can't take it seriously. Like it, it, it's like. <laughs> It's just not a very well-told story, even though it's, like, the idea is there. Like, that, that's actually the only thing I actually liked about The Witcher, uh, the concept of The Witcher, is that you're a monster hunter going through this, uh, well, The Witcher. I felt this way about the games as well. Is that you're a monster hunter going through, like, this, this uh, generic fantasy situation. Like, you're not necessarily involved with the conflict between these different factions. Like, you just want to, like fight monsters that are fucking with people like that that concept is actually uh, really really interesting to me like i'm a monster hunter fan right uh, a nintendo era monster hunter fan uh, monster hunter 3 fan to be specific but uh yeah you know i'm a monster hunter fan this is like monster hunter ish you know what i mean like it had the potential to be monster hunter but more fleshed out and interesting but um it's not about the monsters it's not about like dealing with them and their behavior and just the process of like how they can fuck with people and no it's some generic fantasy plot about a girl like chosen by destiny oh wait wait does it actually say that in the back of the book waiting for the birth of a prophesized child this child has the power to change the world for good 
or for evil. Yeah, unbelievably generic. Like, if they actually just went with, like, the typical root, like, 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 if they actually went with, like, a true morally gray story, right? Like, here's what you do. Here's what I would have done. Honestly, I think I might actually do this myself since I'm just spitballing right now. But uh, here's, here's what I would have done. Have the monster hunter, right? Uh, I'm going to call him a monster hunter rather than a witcher because uh, I actually respect monster hunter. Have the monster hunter be truly a neutral person. Have him have no connections to any of the factions fighting. Have it... Don't have, like, an elfin heritage. Don't have, like, some prophecy. Don't be involved with these crazy plots. Just fight the monsters that are involved with getting in the way of, um, of these conflicts, right? Like, take both sides. Like, or more sides. What, whatever it is. Like, like I, was, I was listening to, like, a Joe Rogan podcast about, like, this situation. Like, a World War II situation. Um, this really notorious incident with uh, crocodiles, right, where uh, the Allies invaded a ja uh, an island controlled by the Japanese, and the Japanese were pushed back and back and back into the swamps of this island, where uh, a thousand Japanese soldiers were just eaten alive by gators, like, of all things, gators, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, theoretically, in the world of uh, Monster Hunter, uh, which is, I guess, the idea I'm having right now, uh, theoretically, in the world of Monster Hunter, like, that person would have been hired to, like, sort of, I don't know, like, deal with it or find some way to prevent that from happening. I, I, don't, I don't know how it would happen ex exactly. I haven't thought about it in depth. But that's the kind of situation that a character like this would have been interesting in. Like, dealing with these crazy fantasy monsters in this in this setting, right? But uh, th th that's not what happened. That's not what's happening. It's just... It's just... It's just boring. Like, it's just boring Star Wars style... Well, I don't want to imply, like, classic Star Wars is boring, but um, it's it, it just... Look, there's a reason that cliches are established, right? It's it, because these things work, right? But if you use them poorly, if you don't implement them well, like, they just... They just fall flat. You know what I mean? Like, how many countless Star Wars clones are there that haven't had the impact of the original? Even the sequels haven't had the impact of the original. That's kind of what I feel here, is that, like, why would you ever read this shit? Like, I was listening to Lord of the Rings on uh, Audible, and uh, so much better. Like, so, so much better. It's, it's ridiculous how much better it is. Like, how many times have I listened to, like, that opening segment? like read that opening chapter like uh you know that thing about hobbit life uh their their family history uh the setup to the one ring gandalf's speech to frodo uh his negotiation with bilbo actually uh there's so much there to talk about there's so much compelling like setup and character drama and memorable moments and uh the witcher doesn't have a single moment like that not in the books not in the video games, probably not in the TV show that I'm not going to watch. Uh, I, I just... This is definitely... Uh, honestly, I'm inclined to say The Witcher is probably like the twilight of the new 10s because uh, 2015 was a terrible, terrible year. Well, the new 10s was a terrible, terrible year for video games, right? Uh, the industry was desperately trying to stomp out Nintendo. They were trying to get rid of them. They were trying to make them go third party. They, they've been working towards this for years, and they really thought they could do it. Uh, they really thought they could put the death nail in Zelda. And so they hyped up this this trite, right? This boring, generic, <laughs> generic fantasy bullshit to try and like <laughs> to try and. Um, to try and ruin it, and uh, it completely failed. Uh, we're getting a Breath of the Wild 2. Breath of the Wild 2 came out, surpassed The Witcher 3. Uh, Breath of the Wild 2 will be out long before we ever get a Witcher 4, and I imagine Witcher 4 is just going to be like Mass Effect Andromeda tire of just bullshit. Cyberpunk is going, doesn't seem to be living up to expectations either. Um, I'm very, very anxious to see just uh, when The Witcher fad dies off, and I, and I do think we're at the point where it's uh, on the decline, 
they can't just keep milking it. Like they don't. The books aren't good enough. The games aren't good enough. Like it, it really, it really is coasting off like the PlayStation and Xbox name, really. Like because PlayStation and Xbox gamers, uh, and PC gamers, I suppose, although they don't really play games, um, those people have nothing else to play. So they have no choice but to hype up the Witcher threes, the Titanfalls, the the Destinies. The I don't even know what else is out these days, but. Uh, a uh, Ghost of Tsushima, like seriously, they're hyping up Ghost of Tsushima right now. Like, oh, it's a better Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed was never good to begin with. Like, why are you, why are you pretending to care? Like, uh, I'm seeing lots of people like hype up Days Gone right now. It's it, it's, it's very very frustrating. Um, it, 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 it's very very frustrating to see people, uh, ignorant people, like hype up shit like Game of Thrones and this. Uh, Game of Thrones is, I don't want to. Yeah. Game of Thrones is better than this shit. Like, like I, I dislike Game of Thrones, and even I'm just like, yeah, I'm a, I, I would support like Game of Thrones over The Witcher. Like, fuck The Witcher. The Witcher is just complete shit. Like, it, it's so so frustrating. Um, I own like, uh, I think I own two up, uh, two more of the books. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to shelf them. Uh, honestly, I'm tempted to just throw them out because I don't know if I'm ever gonna finish, them, ever gonna read them, but. Uh, yeah, definitely the worst books I've read all year, to be completely honest with you. And I've read some shit. Like, I've read stuff I haven't liked. You, you know, like Batman Year One. Uh, well, that's a comic, but that, that's what immediately came to mind. Um, Geo, I didn't like all that much. Um, I mean, it's just on my shelf right here. Uh, you know, I... Really... I, I am a... The only reason I would ever want to read the books, and the only reason I put up with this for so long, uh, I want to make people, uh, help people be informed about the quality of, these ser of this series. It really is a Twilight situation. It really does feel like a bunch of overzealous fanboys who have no idea what's actually out there overhyping a product just because it's the new shiny thing. You know what, Angry Joe, like all of these Witcher fanboys, um, you know, I think the golden one, I think I think there are a lot of people like that out there who are just hyping this shit up just because, ooh, it's the Witcher, it's European fantasy. Read better fantasy. Like, just come on, just, there's so much better shit out there. You, There is no reason to limit yourself to this shit unless you are absolutely ignorant as to what's actually out there. 